happy Sunday morning. I was asked to do a video about cuttings. So this will probably be a compilation because I'm pretty sure I've started to do this before, but I just haven't put it out yet. So with this video comes some truth. <laughs> Whether you have an indoor or outdoor garden, after a while, some plants are going to start to look beat up or something's going to happen. So I have a few of those things going on now. Over here, this is where we will take our cutting from for our experiment. This is my top um, Arrow Garden Heirloom Cherry garden and what happened here was water ran out tomato plants do not recover well from that if in hydroponics outside not really a big deal in hydroponics i've noticed if tomato plants go without water for several hours or whatever this is what happens they become wimpy and with that wimpiness eventually the um leaves will start to dry up and after the wilting and so you just have to cut them off now the plant will recover eventually it starts to grow new leaves new babies but it can take a while so until then your plant looks like absolute crap <laughs> so basically um since i have so many of these like this one down here that garden's still cranking it out still gorgeous those are big and beautiful but up here these three plants this one over here is good as you can see it's still full there are a little things on here that I need to take off but these two over here I'm basically just waiting for the tomatoes that are left on here to ripen and then I'm going to prune the heck out of it and see what happens from that so if something like this happens to you what you can do is take a cutting to start a new plant and I have done this several times let's go over and look at this one move this out of the way this beautiful tomato plant here is a cutting um, that I took from the one over there. Let's actually bring it down Ugh, or closer. So it's now big and beautiful. And as we can see, the fruits are turning. And this started as a little cutting. This one started as a cutting from the big plant that was over there. These two started as cuttings from the serendipity dwarf that is still over there and they were small they are doing absolutely fantastic doing be better than the big one in my opinion right now however the big one does have two gorgeous fruits on it that are coming up to size okay so let's get to it taking cuttings of tomatoes to root is extremely easy you can do it from a regular stem. Um, you can do it from a leaf that looks like this. This is true of outside plants too. So this one is wimpy. So this would not be a good choice because it's not very strong. But you would just cut it off here. You stick this stem in water and you will see roots in a few days. But one trick on tomatoes, let's see if I can find one that doesn't come with me chopping off fruits <clears throat> I don't want to bother my other plants right now here we go this one looks usable I think <laughs> so if you find a stem like this that has the little bumps right here those little bumps are air roots, okay? So I'm gonna sacrifice this branch and we're gonna see if it's strong enough for rooting. Cut it off right there at the base. Take a look at it. So it has some wimpy things on the side here that I will cut off. I will leave on the strongest leaves. Yes, it's shaped funny, but I'm gonna clean this up. Let me set up so you can... all right excuse all the seed packs i was actually choosing seeds for outdoors but um so here's what we're going to do you don't need a huge piece for rooting a tomato so first i'm going to get rid of the wimpy stuff because that is not providing any strength really you do need leaves you need healthy leaves this part up here is healthy and there's actually some little tiny buds on here which I'm going to leave and I will tell you why in a moment. But 
but we're gonna clean this funky looking thing up this is gonna be the strangest shaped <laughs> rooting ever but it doesn't matter okay now as stated the bottom here has all these bumps on it however this is really long if we leave it like this that's going to look like that and it's going to look really crazy um because the roots would be way down here now up here we have a node and a couple more bumps so i'm going to go all the way up here i'm going to take this off i take this off over here now see if i wasn't doing this from a plant that has gone all crazy and scraggly this wouldn't look quite so bad and i'll show you what i mean in a minute but this all of this over here could also come off because you want the plant to focus energy on rooting not on what else is going on but um oh okay those little buds came off easy i'll take them off I'm going to leave this one. We're going to see if it actually works and turns into a tomato. It worked the last time I did this. So now let's take this over to my little propagation station. So here is my little propagation station, experiment station. I'm just going to stick this in here and I'm going to fill this with water. No, this is not alcohol. <laughs> it's water. Perfect for filling these tubes up over here we have another one ready to go already that's been in here for a few days look at the roots and as you see this was another kind of funky looking pretty straight this will do fine in a cracky uh, tub or dirt or wherever but um, here this was a, a relatively large piece that I put in here it had no roots whatsoever when I put it in this DWC. It has rooted nicely. The plant is gorgeous and there are little buds forming right there. So we're gonna see how that does. But it's just that simple for cutting and rooting tomatoes, that's it. So in about three days, I expect to see roots there that will look very similar to this. Now, if you were gonna take this outside and plant this in dirt, I would plant in dirt up to about here, plant it deep, and then the plant will grow more roots all along here. Uh-oh, and then I beat it up and throw it on the floor. <laughs> okay, um, inside and cracky, my little neck cup is only about this deep. So that's why I wanted to make sure this is not quite too long. And honestly, you could even cut right here and then stick that part in water and it would work. Tomatoes are so, so, so easy. I don't have the best luck with rooting peppers. I rooted several peppers in the summer or attempted, I should say, to root several peppers in the summer. And this was the only one that survived, my fish pepper. And look, it's beautiful, it's flowering. There's a pepper ready to go right there. Now, the only thing with peppers is they take longer and they do benefit from using um, a rooting hormone. And I have two. I have this Clonex rooting gel. I'll put links below. And I have the rooting powder. They both work. I think the gel might work a little bit faster, but they both work. I have not had to use those with tomatoes at all. However, again, with peppers, it's beneficial. Um, other things that I talked about was the rosemary same thing we took those cuttings in the last video put them in here no roots yet rosemary takes a little while and it does not always work again I had many peppers that failed but some worked so um, do I have anything else that's a clone <sighs> well technically my strawberry runners are so um i have not done the full video on this yet either because we haven't gotten to the point where i'm ready to let them fruit because i decided to just kind of make a bunch of plants and save them for outside but i'll go ahead and get that video together so basically what i did back in november was bring in a few runners and if you're not familiar this is a strawberry runner let me take it down from here 
strawberry plants put out these runners, which is how they make new plants. And there are a lot of myths out there on how it's done. I'll save all that for a different video. But in short, you take the runner off, you can root the runner and make new strawberry plants. So all of these are brand new plants that came from runners. I started with only a few, I think 10, from my outside garden. And now I have this with, what is that? Four, one, two, three, four. Four in there, five in there, and this thing with 12 is now full because I just keep doing it over and over. But again, that's another video <laughs> all about strawberries. So it has been only two days since I took this cutting from my Aero Garden Heirloom Cherry Tomatoes. And look at that. Two days and it has roots. Not very long ones yet, but they are there told you very quick with tomatoes so I'm gonna put this back for now put a little more water in it so in a day or two I'll take that I will put it um, probably in its own small cracky uh, maybe a 32 ounce jar or another one of this size here I have some more of these buckets that is that one's by liters, and I can't remember what it is. I think it's equivalent to about a half gallon, if I recall. Um, so yeah, so that one, which also started as a similar cutting, is doing very, very well. Let me move this again. So it'll be like this. So that's really all it takes to make new tomato plants. And you can do that as many times as you want off your tomato plant. You can start with only one plant in your yard. Um, if you have a favorite variety and once that plant gets some nice size to it You can take cuttings and make new plants and the thing about this I don't remember if I said that already is when you take these cuttings from an already mature plant that plant is mature and starts to flower much sooner than if you were waiting for a new plant from seed so I just move these over here to this spot um, and they both have little flower buds on them. This one will probably be open in a day or two. And that's it. So, um, if you have any questions, let me know. One day later. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for any other videos, I love when I get suggestions. So let me know. Bye-bye.